Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dwayne Kimball, United States Army veteran and retired rating specialist. Today I'm bringing you another educational video as it pertains to the VA compensation claims process. And today I'm going to be discussing what not to do so the VA rater will not impose incompetency. I'm going to say that again. What not to do so the VA Raider will not propose incompetency as it pertains to mental conditions. When I rated, it, I did several of these decisions and I'm gonna share this information with you today. Let's get it. Okay. So today's topic, what not to do so the VA Raider will not impose incompetency. I cannot tell you how many times I've done these claims and veterans made this common mistake and I'm going to share with you today. So you need to understand competency versus incompetency, but more so how does the VA define incompetent? a veteran to be incompetent when it comes to mental conditions. So let's go ahead and push forward. Slide number one. Here in slide number one, you can see this is 38 CFR 3.353 determinations of incompetency and competencies. Competency, I'm sorry. So the VA's definition of mental incompetency, a mentally Incompetent person is one who, because of injury or disease, lacks the mental capacity to contract or to manage his or her own affairs, including disbursement of funds without limitation. Keep that in mind. Determination of funds without limitations. Now, that's part A. Part D. See what I have highlighted in red, including the disbursement of funds. That's going to come into play a little bit later. Now, again, you'll see subpart A, subpart D. I did not copy the entire 38 CFR for this, okay? Uh, a lot of these are kind of lengthy, so I just go through when I'm doing my research and plug out certain parts, but you have the number and the name. You can go out and do continued research on this, okay? So let's keep going. Slide number two. Here in slide number two, it says effect of judicial findings on rating activity decisions related to competency. OK, first paragraph uh, judicial findings of a court with respect to competency of a veteran are not binding on the VA rating activity. Paragraph number two. However, if a veteran is declared by a court to be incompetent, develop all necessary evidence for a rating determination. Now. I've seen this happen. I've actually rated some of these claims where the court, especially when uh, a veteran gets Baker acted, okay, or it may be for another reason. But when that is done, the VA rater has to give due process, which is proposed incompetency, okay? Also, there's individuals that are called field examiners, okay? They work hand in hand with fiduciary. They may go out and check on the veteran and things of that nature. But I've seen where courts, especially when they Baker Act uh, a particular veteran. All right, let's keep going. Slide number three. Now, this is the PTSD review DBQ. And you'll see this same section on mental conditions other than PTSD. And what I want to bring your attention to, you can see it right there. Number seven, competency. And what does this state? Note, for VA purposes, a mentally incompetent person is one who, because of injury or disease, lack, lacks the mental capacity to contract or to manage his or her own affairs, including disbursement of funds without limitation. Including disbursement of funds without limitation. Remember what I told you from slide one? You're going to see it again. There it is. OK, now it asks, is the veteran capable of managing 
his or her financial affairs? If the examiner checks yes, not a problem. You are good to go. Now, if that examiner checks no, and it says if no, specify each injury or disease resulting in incompetency and provide a rationale to support this finding. Now, this is a mental DBQ. Okay, look at some of these other DBQs and see if they have this question on there. Okay, this is a mental DBQ. If that doctor or examiner, I'm sorry, examiner checks no, then they have to provide not only the disease, which means the diagnosis, and provide a rationale. Okay, so whenever this box is checked, the VA rater has to propose incompetency. Okay, now there could be other reasons or other evidence, like I just showed you on the previous slide, from the court. There could be um, something from the court saying that the uh, vet was Baker acted, and then the veteran has a DBQ or CMP exam where it says, is the veteran capable? In the yes box is checked. Now you got some conflicting information. So now the VA rater has to go dig in. They might request another exam or do uh, an addendum to the CMP examiner. Say, hey, look at you know these findings with evidence that was submitted to the court to either Baker Act or that and with their service connected for if they have any progress notes. OK, so it gets a little bit more detail. OK, but this is the number one thing that gets vets in trouble when it comes to incompetency. Now, if a veteran is incompetent and there's evidence and you're a family member or something like that, hey, I get it. But I'm going to provide a reason when some veterans check that box for no and they're not actually incompetent, but they check that box, okay? Now, like I stated earlier, I rated several of these cases, okay? Some are pretty straightforward, a little bit easy, but you heard me mention a VA position, field examiner, okay? So the field examiner will sometimes provide information. The courts may send in something, a family member, a wife, uh, siblings, kids, you know, all those individuals can send in something, okay? Now, in section seven of the mental DBQ, yes or no? Yes, you're good to go. I've seen veterans check no, and they're not incompetent. So you might say, well, Dwayne, why is that? That does not mean, that question does not mean, oh, you're a truck driver. You're on the road four or five times a week, and your wife handles all the bills. But if you were not married, you would you can handle those bills. You can handle those bills. Okay. So a lot of veterans will check no just because they have a consolidated checking account with their with their significant other, and their significant other writes all the bills or pays all the bills. That's not what that question means. So if you fall in that category, don't check no, check yes. All right. Just because your significant other pays the bills do, does not mean you cannot manage it, manage those bills or your funds unless you are, in fact, incompetent. All right. Now, I've also seen where veterans, older veterans, um, a lot of times they're single and unfortunately they're males and they get online and they find someone overseas and that person overseas kind of finesses them, and next thing you know, the veteran is taking a thousand dollars from their uh, they're taking a thousand dollars from their compensation pay and sending it over there. And son or daughter will jump in and say, "Hey, wait a minute, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, I know what I'm doing." And they're just kind of like willy nilly with their money. They may come in and say, "Hey, my dad or whomever the veteran is is incompetent. They're just." you know, giving their money away and now they can't pay their bills and then a fiduciary may have to step in. But I've also seen where veterans had private DBQs 
by a private examiner and that private examiner checked the box no because they did not understand the question or like I stated er earlier in that first scenario, the veteran says, oh, you know, my wife handles all the funds and they check no. When in fact the veteran can handle those funds and the vet didn't get anybody to review the DBQ, no consulting firm, no uh, VSO, if they had one, and mo majority of times they do, but they didn't have anybody review it. So when they get to the VA, guess what the Raider has to do? Because they're going off of what your doctor said, okay? So I just wanted to point that out, especially if you're taking this DBQ to a private examiner to have them complete it. Understand what question seven is and what it means, okay? So with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and don't forget to share this video with your fellow veterans. Thank you. Thank you.